Hey guys, today I'm here to talk about Anthopleura xanthogrammica, or more commonly known as the giant green anemone. Now don't be fooled by its vibrant colors and almost petal-like tentacles. The anemone is not a plant. Below we have a picture of a green sunflower to show you just how similar they can be. Try and guess which is which. The giant green anemone is part of the phylum nadarian and the class anthozoa. They possess no visible sense organs, but are able to tell what's edible and what isn't. For example, if you put a piece of cardboard into its reach, it probably wouldn't eat it. However, if it were soaked in muscle juices, it would be ingested. It's sort of like how worms don't have eyes, but they can sense water without touching it. Now, let's talk about where they live. Generally, they're found along the low to mid intertidal zones of the Pacific Ocean, but they can also be found in tide pools. Intertidal indicates the area found above water at low tide and underwater at high tide. The most suitable habitat is sandy or rocky shorelines where there's water for the majority of the day. They normally prefer living solitary or in small groupings because they can be semi-aggressive. After splitting, the anemones can cause a sort of chemical warfare with other anemone species. Here we can see that the special white tentacles are beginning to emerge. They hit each other with them, leaving patches of stinging cells stuck to their opponent, which is why it's flinching. This usually causes them to starve, shrink, and, well, eventually die. Giant green anemones can grow up to 17 centimeters in diameter, and reach as tall as 30 centimeters in height. Their bodies are soft and squishy and have a flat form when open. They have a foot that they use to stick to various surfaces as well as for movement away from conditions that aren't ideal. They also have tentacles forming six or more rows around the oral disc, which is what you see here, with the mouth in the center. The mouth is usually closed tight, but when it's hungry, it opens up with an oval look. The tentacles are short, thick, and taper at the ends, and are usually light green in color. A dark colored column supports the entire or oral disc. When the anemone is exposed to large amounts of sunlight, it appears a brighter green due to pigmentation, which is the natural coloring of an animal or a plant tissue. And here's a close-up. <laughs> Now, if you ever see one of these in the wild, you may not realize it at first. When the tide is low, giant green anemones force the water out of their body cavities, pull their tentacles in, folding themselves inward for protection, and exposing their dark green-brown column. Anemones have an incomplete digestive system, meaning that they only have one opening for ingestion and excretion. They use their tentacles to trap their prey and paralyze it, then bring it into their mouth. After feeding, the anemone excretes everything it couldn't digest back into the water through its mouth. The anemone also receives nutrients from a photosynthetic algae living in it. They live in a symbiotic relationship, the anemone providing a home and the algae providing food. Here we see a giant green anemone pulling a hermit crab into its mouth, where powerful digestive enzymes will break it down. The anemone mainly feeds on detached mussels, but can also feed on sea urchins, small fish, and crabs. Anemones reproduce sexually via external fertilization, meaning that their eggs aren't fertilized inside the organism, but rather in the open water. The process is similar to that of echinoderms. Through their mouths, males release the sperm to provoke the female to release their eggs. Together, they produce larvae that develop into a juvenile anemone and floats away. It eventually finds a spot to land where it attaches itself and grows into a new anemone. And unlike most nadarians, they don't go through a medusoid stage throughout their life cycle. This means that they lack the stage where they're free living with a jellyfish-like body. Now, believe it or not, anemones are useful to people. Giant green anemones pr produce toxins that stimulate human heart muscles and are being used for medical research. They're currently contributing to the development of heart medications. I hope that you enjoyed my presentation. Thanks for watching.